Taurus, hello beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, this is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. For more clarity on your situation, pop on over to your sun, moon, and rising signs. And if you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. Along with my husband, if you have not yet, check him out. He is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading because we are going to be pulling a final message from your angels. Now, we see here that there is a particular form of conflict in your life. Maybe this is uh, with somebody, um, co-worker, family member, uh, lover. But either way, there is conflict with that Five of Wands energy. The, the difficulty with conflict um, is that it keeps us in a lower vibrational place, hence the Four of Cups in reverse. And when uh, we are in a lower vibrational place, it doesn't allow us to receive the amount of abundance that is in our that is in our grasp, that is our birthright, right? The name of the game and the only awareness you ever want to have is how high is my frequency, right? What does my vibration, what is my vibration, right? How high is my vibration? Um, the difficulty with focusing on contrast or excuse me, with focusing on a conflict in our lives is it put the, it puts the brakes on energy going anywhere. It's very, um, very resistant to see, right? And so um, we really want you to understand that even if there are beings in your life that are causing negative uh, reactions from within you, uh, you're going to want to take a you're not going to want to be thinking about them then right you're not going to want to be thinking about that person you're not going to want to be going over what they said or how to fix it or any of those things you are going to want to have to re uh, redirect your focus and attention into something else in your life that brings you joy that brings you happiness uh, that leaves you feeling satisfied and complete and when you redirect that focus into that form of activity, then the clarity will be shown for how to best handle the situation of that other being that you're in conflict with moving forward, okay? So what's happening is this, because we see here that the, another five of wands has come up. So the reason why this conflict is in your life is because of a lack of connection and understanding of where you want to go. And when you don't know what you want and when you don't know what you're looking for in life, things become very frustrating. We don't feel like the man our manifestations are coming into fruition. When we don't feel like our manifestations are coming into fruition and we feel like that very disconnected sense of self, then the difficulty is we're very reactive. So then when beings come into our lives and when they show up, we are not in our best self ready to respond the way that our higher self is, is asking for us to respond. Our higher self always um, leaves the energy feeling really calm and relaxed and like we made the best possible choice or we had the best pos possible conversation uh, for our highest good and then in return for the highest good of that being. Um, however, what we can see here is uh, that, you know, um, this conflict that is in your life is something that does need to be looked at more so, not the conflict itself, but recognizing why is this conflict here? And it feels like there is um, definitely needs to be some forgiveness, whether with, whether with yourself, beautiful soul, or with this other person. Forgiveness will set you free and it will allow you to carry on your path abundantly, more stable, more connected, more guided. Because whenever we are holding onto energies from the past that it's more like a pain or a trauma that we've held on from the past and it hasn't been healed through, then that particular situation reoccurs in our life time after time so that we are given the opportunity to heal through it. You see, so it's much easier to just kind of look at whatever shows up for us and whatever triggers our ego is something that we must heal through. Now, we can't heal through it by looking at it. So instead, what we have to do is prioritize our focus and attention into the areas of life that we do enjoy, right? So say, for instance, I was, say, for instance, Vince and I weren't getting along, right? This five of wands. Say we weren't getting along, right? I wouldn't be focused on the conflict we would have. We'd be having, I would say that, you know what, this is something that we are going to be learning and expanding through and my attention on it isn't gonna help. So I'm gonna go and do something that I love. Exercise, journaling, focusing on um, spirit work, right? That's what I would place my awareness into. If, if he said anything that was ever, that I took personally, I recognized oh, I'm taking this personally, I'm in my ego state, Obviously, I would love the connection for us to be resolved. So, you know what? I'm not going to feed this fire. I'm not going to put gasoline on it. Instead, I'm going to respond for my higher self and I'm not going to add to it. You see? So that's how that would play out. And it's kind of got to be the same with everyone in life is, is, well, you know what? When it's ego on ego, you're not going to
going to get much, right? But when it is ego next to higher self, then the reciprocant who is displaying their ego is going to feel embarrassed. They're going to feel that, that sense of, of, of shame because they're realizing, wow, I'm not behaving the way that I want to be. This isn't the reaction that I want to have. You see, every everyone will feel that truth. So that's why we never want you to feel like you have to, uh, you know, prove something or, or, you know, show something. Or sometimes with our spiritual work, we feel like we want to help others, even when it's not asked for. You want to make sure that when it's, you, you, you reach out when it's asked for. And always recognize that you'll receive uh, better results in your relationships and less conflict in life when you focus on your own journey, okay? And recognizing that your vibration is the only thing that matters. So if there is a conversation that needs to be had, make that person feel safe, right? But this is only going to come when you are prioritizing, again, your own um, frequency and really observing and be able to be, being able to determine what works best for you. So feeling at home, feeling comfortable within your skin, right? So you're always guided into things. So that's why we always say, let your heart lead the way because your heart will lead you to the joys that you value, your spirit values. And when you start to take action on those things, then you are living a spirit inspired life, a very joyous life. But when we are not listening to the joys of our hearts and we are thinking and we are focusing on conflict and we are worried about things and we are holding on to, to this pain and we are not forgiving then we are living in a low vi uh, uh, frequency. When we live in a low frequency, we attract illness, we attract disease, we attract negativity, we attract conflict, right? So it's we don't wanna ever look at what's going on in our outer world and blame it. We wanna look at our inner world and think, all right, well, how can I increase my vibration so I can eliminate and I can and, and I can heighten. Now the universe here is coming forward with the message of energy work. So perhaps having uh, a spare, um, setting aside some time for yourself. And towards what we can say is, if you have a morning drink like a coffee or a tea, this would be an excellent time to start compounding these healthy habits, right? So over your coffee or tea, grab a pen, grab a journal. Maybe start off with some energy work because it's sort of like a form of meditation where you sit in stillness, breathe into your heart, and then breathe white light. You can bring visualize this. Breathe white light all through each of these chakras that you have there okay and you can feel them in your energy body they're kind of they're by your spine so you sort of feel they're like in a little bit down by your spine you feel the the heat or the pressure or whatever however it is you interpret it um, but running some white light through there really helps and of course as we know everything is synergistic here so when you sit with yourself and you visualize you visualize that white light going through each chakra you are practicing and sharpening your imagination what's imagination imagination is visualization visualization visu uh, visuals or creates uh, the life we want right so ultimately now is the time the universe wants you to envision a new reality for yourself and this can be utilized in your energy work practice so over your coffee, over your tea, grab your journal, maybe self-reflect a little bit. Wow, yesterday I really had a good day. This is what happened. This is what's going on in my life. This is what I would like to see resolved, whatever it is, right? It's always about collecting data. That's it. So you don't want to look at self-reflection as an emotional um, activity, more as just this worked, this didn't, glad I got the lessons from it. Thank you, spirit, moving forward kind of a thing. And just know that... Um, it, now is the time for you to see things a little bit differently. And when we are only looking at something from a certain kind of a way, maybe more of a conflicty way, then we don't see what's available for us and because we are missing it, right? So the universe is asking for you to open up your heart just a little bit and really prioritize in your life what is it that you are looking for and take that lead, okay? Don't, don't let someone else hold you back from being your best self. Don't feel like you need to wait for someone else's approval to take action on what you want. Do what you want to do. What feels good for you? What is in your heart? What is it? What is your interest? And taking that leap for ourselves is difficult because most of us empaths are used to living a life where we don't feel comfortable saying no to somebody, right? Because it's very uncomfortable to say no. So we usually just say yes and then we end up people pleasing for most of our lives. And then when the time comes where we have to say yes to our self, oh boy, that's a whole nother can of worms. You know what I'm saying? So be easy with yourself. This is a process, right? Evolution and expansion is a process. But what will help you, your angels are saying, is if you let your past go, beautiful soul. So they are saying, the burden of carting your past around has made you weary, dear one. It's time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it, and it's now gone. 
Take the lead of your life. What is it that you want to do? Who is it that you wish to be? What is it that you, where is it that you would like your life to go? And know that wherever you focus is what is what will be. So if you focus on abundance, if you focus on that new house, if you focus on joy, and if you focus on love, you're gonna receive it all. But if you focus on hate, if you focus on holding on to grudges, if you focus on this sucks and this isn't going right and I'm never forgiving nobody and, 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 and keeping that conflict in your life, then you will be attracting an illness and disease and negativity and, and all things that go alongside with that, you see? So the choice is always ours. Please, we're asking you now to make the choice for your highest good that comes from your heart. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like, share, and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.